All right, big thing to remember with this pattern here, you hit the cord, you miss it twice, hit it on the uh, final upstroke there. So really, really watch that right hand when you're playing. And yeah, patterns like this, I'm not gonna get crazy fast, but that's okay. A big part of this is pick control as well as making sure things are timed correctly. So having those extra strums that you do not play anything on, so the missed strums or the ghost strums, uh, very much can help with these difficult rhythms we're going towards. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get into some pretty wacky crap here coming up. All right, 60, number one, one, two, three, four, one, eighth note with a 16 60 one two three four one come up let me know I will wait a minute try to 
trying to think if I'm forgetting something. We went over a lot of mode stuff, yes. So I remember you asked like what to use for D Dorian. And I said like what chords. So basically any chord that is in the key of C will work. Um like if I remember correctly, your progression was something like something like D minor, F major, G minor. Uh, that's in the key of D, D minor, but not but uh, Dorian in the key of D minor. Uh, let's see, is actually uh, G G Dorian would work over that progression. So, <clears throat> if you look up, yeah, just D Dorian backing track, that would work fine. Uh, to change that progression that you did have, if I remember it correctly. I remember the G minor chord especially. Uh, you change it to D minor, F, G, that would work. Anyway, um... So we talked about, I think that drone backing track, that's right. And so if you take any of the scale shapes and you start them on A, they work over that drone track. A little bit cautious about doing too much of that stuff where you start on A, like everything starting on A, because I want to make sure you get the, the scale shapes in order or the modes in order for the key of C and what let's get those down first before we really break away into like changing keys and all that stuff but yeah um if you, key of C backing tracks key of A minor backing tracks basically any of those modes in on that sheet C Ionian D Dorian E Phrygian F Lydian G Mixolydian A minor or A Aeolian so most likely you'll find A minor backing tracks, not A Aeolian. You might, but it's the same thing. And then same thing with uh, C major. You look up C Ionian backing tracks, I don't know how many you're going to find, but C major backing tracks will be m most likely the thing you'll find a lot of. Uh, you can also look up B Locrian backing tracks. So all those modes on that sheet you have, plus the root note of the mode, they all work. They all work. Because it's the same seven notes, just starting in a different spot. So, yeah, just basically just A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Those are the notes, but, you know, starting in different places within those same seven notes. Um, so, easy. I think that covers it all then. I think that's what I was trying to remember. There was something about modes Something about scales. Okay. Any questions come up, let me know. I'll see you again next week.